<laughs> Look at that! Well, that's what I've ended up with for this year's trip. Still didn't find the big one, but some nice sized pieces to add to the collection anyway. Found some nice virgin ground, where some nuggets were just laying on the surface, including this larger specimen. You can see the line here, where it was actually laying on the surface. That redder section at the bottom is the bit that was buried. Just laying like that on top of the ground. I only had to look down to see that. So I'll do an SG test on that one and find out how much gold's in it. It's about six ounces there, five and a half, six ounces. So it will be interesting to see what that one has actually got in it. So if you wanted to do a specific gravity test on a specimen like this one, you'd need to weigh it underwater. You need its wet weight, so you're going to need to suspend it underwater. So I've just attached the nugget to some fishing line there and a stick, a chopstick. So I'll go ahead and suspend that underwater and get its wet weight. We already know the dry weight and the dry weight will be times 1.9 so I've already worked that one out because it was 175 grams. Once I get the wet weight I times that by 3.1 and deduct that dry weight times 1.9 off it. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay so there's the scale set up. It then turned on and then I'll drop that down on there That was uh, 175 dry. I'll just make sure, you've got to make sure that fishing line is not touching the side of the scales. And we're clear both sides now, so that is suspended and the weight is 116 grams. So I'll go ahead and do the equation and we'll see what we've got in it. And that's the end result there. You've got um, 116 minus 3 for the stick, 113 at 3.1 is 350, minus your 175 times 1.9, 332.5, 17.8 grams. Pretty accurate this test. So you now I get around 17, 18 grams. So not too bad. I mean, it's a half ounce uh, find of gold, but you know, it'd be nice to have two ounces in it. <laughs> anyway, I'll clean it up, see how it looks, if it's no good or it's just ordinary looking. It'll go in the dolly pot and I'll be sure to upload that too. That one right smack bang in the middle was the largest one I got this year as far as nuggets go. At 14.7 grams. Heading for a half ounce but not quite there. The one on the right there was at 10.24. Found that that rainy day. And some good other pieces in amongst them. Some nice species. Some good little patches. It was fun. A lot of fun. Um, found uh, those other pieces around it. Over 500 pieces there. 514 I think. And I did trade a few pieces for different bits and things. Bits and pieces. A new booster. Earphones, that sort of stuff. Um, I found that from about five different patches some nice gullies and small washes down the sides of hills, creeks, etc. Uh, so I look forward to cleaning this lot up and see more of the gold in the specimens and that beautiful gold colour in the nuggets once the red dirt's gone. Uh, I found some exciting new ground for next year. More leases, which I took the numbers of, and we'll look up on 10 graph and then seek to get permission to prospect on. Uh, I've learnt more about prospecting this year and hunting for gold and how hard it really is to discover and the thrill of finding even small pieces out there in the bush. It's a great hunt that requires many, many days and months, a lot of patience and persistence. Now I get to cleaning this lot up and examining the video I shot this year and as I've said before, I don't take internet with me, so I apologise for not responding to your comments over the last five months. From memory, I found that on Tom's birthday, and uh, that was just laying on top. That's a quite good sized piece of gold. I think that was a seven and a half gram, or down about eight to ten inches. Didn't think that was gold at first. 
till I hit a tree root. And then I thought, hang on. Just didn't have that normal gold signal, even though it was low. A low high. Just was more of a boom. So it just shows you different depth, different size nuggets, even different densities of gold. If it's got less rock or more ironstone, that's a solid piece. Uh, just give off different signals. Uh, that was a 10 grammer. Just found that in between showers on a wet day, just under the surface, went off like a, well, I thought it was going to be a bullet. There you go. Nice big chunker. So that was good. I look forward to seeing that one cleaned up. That one there was that nice deep, near half ounce nugget. Give off a nice low high, no mistake in that signal. But not too many pieces like that out there that I found this year. Otherwise, wow, wouldn't that wouldn't it add up? But nevertheless, some good sized nuggets. That's a great shape. That one I really enjoyed finding. Great shape for a pendant. Nature's formed that one for me. And then I mean, this was a sun baker. Just laying there right on top. Great thrill to just look down and see that staring back at you. As was that big specimen. The little boomerang I got, that was amongst that three ounce patch. That was at depth. Really, really faint signal. Not a normal gold signal, just the slightest little noise there, but it was persistent. And I was detecting that there was some sort of variation in the threshold and I thought well there's probably a target there and of course once you dig down towards it the signal really comes in and you know you're onto something yeah so anyway some good finds it probably looks a bit more once you start piling her up like that a whole season for just that small amount of gold goes to show you it's hard to find and that's it cleaned up 514 pieces some nice nuggets good specimens good fun hope you enjoyed